Okay, so I'm back playing Shadow of the Avatar. And today, uh, I plan to do at least the first third of, possibly the first half of, the, uh, the R14 Grand Tour. Now, I've taken some time yesterday to level up my character. Uh, you know, 20, 24,000 experience. But I've saved the... Uh, I've saved the visit to the skill trainer for a few levels, so you can see I'm. I've got 63 points to spend. So what do I want to do first of all? I want to do some healing touch. So. There you go, healing touch. What are these? So I think I'll save those two for later levels. And we'll increase my innate innate ability a bit. Focus. Let's have a bit more bonus focus. intelligence I'm not sure there's any point in me increasing my hands up at this point because I'm using the fixed sized hand so probably Some intelligence anyway, right. I'll leave it there, see how it goes. So I do want to up my health. That's what we got here. Improve my strength. And I want to improve my encumbrance capacity. So that's all good. Now let's look at my sword fighting ability. Whirling Blades is a nice one to get to. I don't know if I've got enough left for that. Repost and Rend at level 3. I have got enough to get Whirling Blades. Woohoo! So one thing I've not worked out yet is if if increasing your skill on on these things when you're using a fixed hand size actually gives you any benefit. Uh, so I can get that. No, I can't. 
What do I need? Uh, blade speed. So I don't get any more of that. Armor, so there's not a lot of point having that. So let's do increase critical hit chance. There we go. All spent. Let's have a look. Look at a massive amount of encumbrance. I can carry horses around now by the look of it. Right, so now over, over to the man, oh, I've run out, of, run out of light, there he is, special reward. Southwest of the Hidden Vale. Robin Pass, Owl's Head, right. North and North, east of Owl's Head, North of North York. South east of Owl's Head. Right, but where is Groove and Chart for? Okay, so it does sound like most of them are around Owl's Head again. Apart from this Worm Sands, which is the southwest. So let's head to the southwest. There's one thing, one thing I want to show you before I uh, let's equip my coconuts. So, the story is um, they've not put uh, animals into the game yet. So, as a compensation for backers, uh, they've given us coconuts, Monty Python style. There you go, you see them? If you can sing that song from um, Monty Python and the Holy Grail, this is this is when you would do it. Anyway, right. Let's clip clop out of here. Dum -da -dum. I don't know the song from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. And you know you definitely don't want me singing it, that's for sure. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. Ugh, that's a good start. Let's get lost leaving Braemar. Oh, there's a road sign. <coughs> there we go, that's better. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so before, oh well, let's just venture out in the world, go and clip clop. You can see it on the world map as well, it's quite entertaining. <laughs> 
So, Worm Sand Southwest. I'm guessing it's over there then, is it? Let's head that way. Greystone. Ah, oh, we don't get to do the horsey clippy clops. Because we're slow moving over this terrain. Oh. Oh. Alright, I'm going to get attacked by something, so I should probably unequip my, my coconut shells. It won't do me any good. Oh, big spiders. Ah, found a sword, come on. They're very kindly not attacking me. Interesting. I wonder if they don't attack you. Or maybe this is just a bug. They don't attack you until you've moved off of the uh, off your initial spot. I'm not repostors for a spider. Experience I got from all of that. Take all. 35 from Wolf Spider, 100 from Large Wolf Spider. Here comes some more. Let's do you first. The interesting thing is how much damage can they actually do to me? Oh, I might not hide it. <sighs> Should have set it all up before I left. I do seem to be perfectly safe standing here. Three of them attacking them, and I've lost about a pixel of my health. You've got, you've got to love this. You've got to love this uh, augmented steel plate. Oh, there's a large one as well. Look. magic user, so it doesn't matter that much about... Ooh, combo glyph. Yeah, so I can't use combo glyphs because I'm not using the... Uh, I'm not using the random deck. So I'll have to have a go at that at some point. That is, I think, essentially 
intended to be the reward for doing it um, properly, air quotes, you get to do these combos. And then you also have to remember what all the combos are for it to be useful to you. So since I've pulled into this scene, usually there's um, some uh, nice resources lying around, so it's worth investigating. Even though it's not the focus of the video at this point. So what's this? No, oh, it's just grass. There we go, some copper. See, some cotton over there. Not a lot of cotton. I'm not that bothered about killing more spiders. For some iron. There we go. Iron is handy. Because ultimately it's one of the ingredients of uh, repair kits. There we go, I'm out. <coughs> Let's see if we get attacked again. Southwest. Was that it? The worm sands? I see I've done some quests and stuff. I have done some quests and stuff. Why well, can't I? Yeah. Okay, so we're in the worm sands. I just tried it once. I got lost and didn't find the tour guide. I think I'll just cut all that bit out of the video. So you'll never see any of that. So what we're going to do is head down this sort of path. Ignoring all the wolves and stuff. And scorpions. They're not really relevant to our current adventure. Let's just stay away, stay away. Now I think the tour guide is somewhere near the dinosaur bones. But maybe there's some other dinosaur bones. Let's have a quick scoot up here. Just in case I've missed him. Oh, a skeleton. Let's take him out, shall we? Missing me, but I'll quit. Let's 
what it looks like. There we go. So... Take all of that. Ah. Another skeleton. Just run a long way to attack me by the look of it. Ah. Somewhere there's a mage of some description. We're doing all right, I think the armor's holding out. Resets my uh, resets my mana. Is it mana? Whatever it's called. We can do a wooden blade. I don't think there's much point in doing it when there's only one there. I think the tour guide is in here somewhere. Oh, there's another skeleton mage. A dinosaur boneyard type thing. Oh, there he is, look. Impressive, isn't it? So, 
medicine guy at the minute. Let's take this mage out and then try some healing. Danger air. Ah. The danger air that I'm going to die before I've killed them all. So let's just talk to him now. Ah. I can't even target him. Yeah, put the sword away, you muppet. Let's talk to the tour guide. There we go. Hello, tour guide. Come on. There we go. Good luck. Done that. We might as well see if we can kill them all. Gone.
Burn and blaze, come on. Ah, something of a headshot. Oh well. Just too many of them. How do I get there? Ten points of critical damage. How many experience points were the um eight hundred? Well anyway. That's that particular one. What we need to do now is find the way out. So which way did I come in? Sorry, that's probably more than enough video for one uh, one one thing. Let's just review my journal. So what I need to do is find out where these rest of them are, and we'll do another video. Hmm. I think Grunveld Shardfall. That's the next target. So what I'll do is I will let's just see. I've leveled up twice, haven't I? I will exit this map and I can cut the video there. Work out where this shardfall is and maybe join it onto the end of this. <laughs> 